What are you at this moment more proud of? The dinosaur or the bucket? Oh, definitely the dinosaur. But, but the bucket's pretty cool too, yeah. <laughs> so this bucket was a major find as well. Let me set the stage here. In the 1930s, there was a dinosaur paleontologist named Barnum Brown. Uh, well, vertebrate paleontologist. He didn't just work on dinosaurs. He worked on lots of vertebrate animals. But uh, Barnum Brown was one of the more famous dinosaur paleontologists of the 20th century. And here's a picture of him right here. He is one of the few people who's ever actually worked these rocks. He was here in 1937, I think. He came through here in 1937 dug up a few dinosaurs, never named any of them, never published any of them, didn't even get all of them out of the ground. He was a busy guy, always running off to do different things. We think he left this here because when some other colleagues were here in 2021, they found this site, and it's pretty obvious that someone had been digging here a long time ago, and they left a bucket here. Uh, this was, see where that white scoop is? That's basically where the bucket was this morning, where it had been for probably the past 85 years or so, since 1937. Here's the bucket right here. So, evidence that this site was previously discovered, presumably by Barnum Brown and his crew. So they worked here for a little bit, probably decided that this was, site was too difficult to work, moved on to something else. So here we are in 2024. Uh, we've rediscovered it and we're digging it up. We're gonna be excavating this dinosaur over the next probably a week or two, and uh, getting out of the ground, getting back to the laboratory so it can be cleaned and studied and published. Very good chance this is going to be a new species or a new genus of duck-billed dinosaur.